Yo, it's your boy Taki. Don't forget the rumba. And on my left, the one with the pink braids is... Robin Renee Murema. Welcome to another stellar episode of O Snack, your weekly show where we give you the lowdown of what to watch this weekend and also what to look out next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like always, we're giving guys the insights and the scoops of your favorite stars and the hottest entertainment. Mm, and today's show is no different. Yeah. I mean, our guest, she's not only the face of BET, Ooh. but she's a presenter huh. and a celebrated local actress. Mm. Mm. That's right. Today in studio, we have the talented Nomalanga Shozi, who is a host of the new season of BET's Behind the Story. In studio today with us to share some of the secrets of that show. And of course, we've got a stellar lineup to cater to your every need. Action, drama, adventure, and any kind of music fan under the sun. Let's go, let's go. See you guys on the go by now. Sit back, relax, get your snacks ready, and enjoy another episode of Oh, oh. Snack. Guys, as promised, we have Nomalanga Shozi, the face of BET, presenter <laughs> and actress. <laughs> Darling, can you see? Can yes, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's radio Rahela. presenter in there as well. Ooh, you know, there's fashion icon in there as well. I, wow. I, I can see. I can see Chloe yeah. conditioning it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for joining us. You look oh, stunning as you always. Guys, this is such a beautiful set, such a fun show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Yeah, really ah, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So, I heard that you have 13 brothers. And sisters. And sisters, oh, so 13 yes. siblings. Yes, oh. yes, yeah. I, I just want to know, how was the dynamic growing up? It was fun, man. You know, it was fun growing up because you always knew that you were one of many. Mm -hmm. And you always had, you know, support. And you always had a big brother. You always had a big sister. You always had somebody to sort of draw inspiration from. Mm -hmm. And it also kind of builds your sort of level of individuality, if that makes sense. You always want to stand out for something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So I was always the smart one, always head girl, captain of the debate team, captain of the. Nice. Hello. Team. You know what I mean? Hello. I knew I had to overachieve, guys. There's no way. There's too many of us. There's too many. Yeah. So it, it was tons of fun being part of a, a big family, and it still is. You got one of your big braves in Ubum City, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you were against maybe 5,000 applicants. Yeah. yeah. You had to be, so first of all, kudos for like breaking through that. Thank you. Know? you. Um, and then secondly, is there any advice you would have for um, actresses and actors out there who are trying to, you know, break into the industry? Get into the space. Yeah. So in terms of Rhythm City, that was also very spur of the moment. Uh, I think a lot of like the big points in my career were very... Like, I didn't plan for them, do you know what I mean? Like, that thing happened, I was not going to enter. A bunch of my classmates were like, do it, you yeah. know? Because they were looking for a character named Nomalang, and they were like, it would be uh, so poetic yeah. if you want, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, let me try, and I did, and I got it. So I think when people come up to me and ask, Uguti, how do you break into the space, you know, acting and things like that, mm -hmm. it's not easy, you know? Oh, it, it does get a lot easier once you have a name for yourself, and, and I mean, that's just the way that the industry it kind is. of is. Yes. Mm. But it's important to know, you know, why you want to get into it. Are, are, are you an actor? Or do you just want people to know who you are? Which is also fine. If you want to be famous, that's okay. Anybody has, you know, can be famous. If you have a, a camera, you can just point and shoot and do something, it goes viral. Do you know what I mean? Right, yeah. But if you want to get into a, a, a discipline that is as respected as, you know, acting. Yes. You have to know why you want to do it. Are you, is, is this something that's in you? Is this a talent that you have? Or is it something that you have a very high interest in? For what reasons? You know what I mean? And then from there, just push, dude. Like, get yourself an agent, take yourself seriously, you know, go to casting. Yeah. Yeah, and flourish. So you're part of the BET, um, Black Girl Rock Festival. Yeah, right? Black Girls Rock. Yeah, yes. that was so cool. And you're rubbing shoulders with Sierra. Ooh, you're yeah. Yeah. You're Issa Rae. I love Issa Rae. If you watch <laughs> <Me too. laughs> I love you. She's how fun. how was that? Yo, for you? let me just say, I think my experience at BET so far has just been Amazing. a dream. Mm. It really has. It's literally like everything that a person who aspires to be in the industry, wanting to get into the industry, and the dreams that they have about the industry, that's what it's actually like, you know, being a part of the BC family, because they really believe, and they will push you. As much as you want to push what you give, mm -hmm. is what you get out. 
you know so going to the BET Awards phenomenal also showing up do you know what I mean yeah, like yeah. it's not like they they just said go to the BET Awards and I was just there do you know what I mean I came through did what I had to do Black Girls Rock as well was absolutely amazing getting to meet people I've looked up to my entire life Angela Bassett oh do you know what I mean oh, it, it was incredible and that's just another thing that sort of affirms that you know your dreams are valid i want to speak a little bit about your show um behind the story yay yes i love that you said my show hey. <laughs> um on the show um there might be some names of um like zex pantwini on mm -hmm. the show mm -hmm. and many more mm -hmm. so i know because now we've met you and now mm -hmm. we know your homies now yeah 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 can you give us a little <laughs> bit of insight and the viewers out there like a young snack of what we can expect from the show. Okay, so expect a lot of um, like sort of eyebrow raising moments and I think that's what Behind the Story has come to be known yes. for. Yes. You know, especially with uh, the, the, the previous host, Pearl yes, she yep. was not afraid to mm -hmm. go there, you know. So definitely expect those moments still, but I think in a more fun, relaxed sort of space. We're in a car, we're driving to places that mean something to these people. Um, so it, it, it just sort of getting to know the person or the man behind the name or the woman behind the name is, is I think what's most important about Behind the Story um, with this season, but also just kind of seeing the human element in them, you know, because sometimes we look at celebrities and we see what they give us because that's what they want us to know as well. And mm -hmm. we don't think yeah. over and above their superstardom, they go through things that are similar to yeah. the things that we go yeah. through as well. Yeah. They have places, they have schools that they went to, um, you know, that molded them into the people that they are. So we really are going behind their story, like quite physically as well. So please tell us where we can watch Behind the Story. Okay, so 9th of October, on BET Africa Channel 129. That's where you catch uh, Behind the Story at 6.30 p.m. It's on a Saturday, guys. So, And it's just before the DJ Zinta show. So, Ooh, you know what I mean? So it's like, double dose of It's like back-to-back nice -back yeah. black girl magic. Super fun. Um, it's a date. Guys, you heard it here on O Snack. Season 5 of BET Behind the Story starts on the 9th of September, hosted by the beautiful. October, oh. honey. I'm October, honey. October. Yeah, guys, this TV O Snack is the place to be. I mean, look sure. at the show they're telling you about. Come on. Oh, uh, man, we got you covered. <laughs> and we did say at the beginning of the show that, you know, O Snack, we give you exclusive content mm -hmm. into what to watch. And yep. I'm super excited. And listen, mm -hmm. DSTV is back with another open window. Ooh. And this time, we're opening Mzanzi channel to okay. family and excess subscribers. So from the 4th to the 8th of October, you can enjoy all Mzanzi Magic's entertainment. I mean, and I've heard that three brand new shows are starting during the open weekend. So I'm mm. really, really, really happy. We have Khot Bom and Sun, okay. season one. Mm. We have Face to Face. Okay. Season mm -hmm. one. Okay. And Izango Mazodumo, season two. I can't believe the Zangomas are coming back, eh? I don't know. I have, you know, when it comes to things like that, sometimes I feel like, you know, as an African person who believes in that as well, it deserves a level of respect. So I don't know what, how people feel about their dozies and okay. their like spiritual journeys and things. And I'm obviously not one to speak on that, but I'm just like, it's cool that it's there. Mm. Yeah. Really? And if you want to know, tune in and watch. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? A little bit of insight. To the a little bit of yeah. insight into people's specific journeys. Because mm -hmm. no, no one, sang yeah. um, two Sangoma's journeys are the same. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I get well, you. Well, I mean, speaking of insights, right? Mm -hmm. DSTV is bringing us a new pop-up channel, which is dedicated to one of the biggest festivals in South Africa. Mm -hmm. This festival is called the Stellenbosch Arts Festival. This festival will be basically, you know, I get you'll be at home watching it, but I feel uh -huh. like you're actually there uh -huh. in the festival because, you know, mm -hmm. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. But basically in the festival, there'll be a lot of stuff going on you know you have dancing mm. visual mm. arts stand-up comedy and even some appearances from some of africa's national treasures mm. like mm. nathaniel mm. and much much more so make sure you check that out you know speaking of dancing mm. cartoon network has come up with a new challenge for the kiddies to get off their couch and learn some super cool moves with our new cartoon network characters so okay. guys they really went all out to the music some fresh african beats imagine african beats cartoon network oh. are we are leveling up wow. some super nice choreography yeah. You know, just to get them fit okay. and ready for the festive season. I'm really excited. And while they enjoy some entertainment, of course. And you know, let me tell you, Nomalanga, I'm going to gossip now. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Taki last night, while we were doing our rehearsals, you know, over the video call, like, yeah, I heard that Nomalanga can dance and stuff. I know. Where did you hear that from? I heard that's a lot, That's Taki. Taki's like, yeah, I heard okay. that no longer can dance. Right. I ain't afraid mm. of her. You know, I can take her on anything. Hotel Om Sabi. I tell Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's take a breather. Let's... 
Wazi wane si. Si, hempa na. Osa umsa. Wait, 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 wait. Two things, right? This is O snack. It's not step up. So I don't know what you're trying to do. It can be. It can be with O snack. Anything is possible, guys. Don't say it. Read, read, read. Number two, Robin. Why are you lying? With your chest. I have the lies. No, man, I have the receipt. Show us. The producers see. have the receipt as well. See. Okay, wait. I want to know where was it gonna go? Say I could dance. Dude, I'm not dancing again. Were you, were you gonna challenge no, me? Never. Listen, listen, Robin. To this TV host now, guys, it's been a pleasure to be with you guys. I, exp <laughs> I love you guys so much. Sorry for embarrassing you. Thank you, Robin. And oh, I don't want to make my. you feel like Thank you can you. run away. Thank you. But anyway, speaking about running, guys. Uh, DSTV is hooking us up with a two-hour movie event. Oh, yeah. okay. We got Harry and Megan three escaping the palace. Yeah, so you know Harry and Megan, oh, yeah, the, the yeah. queen yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So all know the drama and mm -hmm. gossip and everything. Yeah. But now BBC Lifetime is giving us the facts about that. So make sure you check that out. Mm. I know, yeah. No, I love Megan and Harry and I can't wait to hear their side of the story because, hey, it's, mm. it's hectic. I don't want to get into lot. it. Mm. It's been a lot, yeah. Mm. The Megxit mm. was not it nice, was but mm. didn't you say that we're going to have some few spots uh, this week and yes, stuff? Yes, yes, yes. Saving the best for last, because right? Because I don't have a date this weekend and I have to talk Oh, you somehow about, about sports? No. Oh, Arr. okay. Then yeah, this TV's got you, Robin. Yeah. Um, this TV is bringing us some new content, bringing us a movie. And listen, this movie, it's for the sports people. But mm -hmm. if you don't like sports, you still like this movie because it's got sports. It's also very fun. It's mm -hmm. very funny. It's a feel good movie. Start mm. off your weekend, right? You know what I'm saying? This movie is starring one of the goats of sports, LeBron James, oh. in the film Space Jam 2. Space Jam? A new legacy wow. from the 5th of October. Oh, lovely. Yeah. You know, growing up, um, I watched the first Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. I loved it. I wanted to be like Mike. I wanted to be dunking on people. So <laughs> Um, okay, you said the gold yes. LeBron. Yes. So I'm confused, guys. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Like, who is the gold? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, LeBron is a gold, but Michael Jordan is the gold. Uh, okay, but in what sense? What do you mean? I mean, Michael Jordan has won more championships okay. back to back, mm -hmm. right? And he basically revolutionized the basketball to what it is today. No, but LeBron as well has like made strides, you know, in, in the basketball, yeah. you know, field yes, and yes. stuff like this. So now why are you... This is a really dangerous conversation to have <laughs> with somebody who loves basketball. Like, just, what, just pick a side. Which one do you like? You could like both, you know. I love them both. Love them both? Can't yeah, 1,000% love them both. <laughs> love them both. <laughs> you definitely can. You I mean... No. I was going to say something, but no. Okay. I think you definitely <laughs> can love them both. I mean, the fact that they both got to, to be the lead in right. Space Jam, it says a lot about what right. they've been able to do mm -hmm. in their generation yes. Yes. of basketball players. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of revolutionizing basketball, mm -hmm. being the GOAT, it's now time for that. Uh, now, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that time, man. We named the top five DSTV shows. I'm really, really, really nervous because it's getting lit. Okay. Our top five is getting lit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's start. So first, start off with some medical drama in The Good Doctor. Mm, and we're cooking it up with a brand new season of My Kitchen Rule SA. Mm. Hectic, eh? People are crying. How can you cry over food? It's possible. You're crying because your food is not nice. Yeah, it's possible. Mm. I mean, has, I, have you guys experienced that? The, the emotions while cooking? Mm. Uh, no, I, I, it always bangs when I cook, bro. Ach, come on. Hit me up if you need one. Okay. You didn't bring anything Look at that. Look at that. You didn't bring anything. Look at that. Which way you all snatching? You got that. La, mina. Okay? <laughs> After that, we are spying on people once again with Big Brother Niger. Hey, the, the mini Dikana mentioned it's lit. Flora? Mm. Aye, but anyway, the river. Mm. And last, guys, please stop cheating, guys. We are Jola 99 once again. Guys, let's stop it. Hey, hey. if I see. Guys, a, a no, person. Don't stop it, guys. Juju will be out of a job if okay. you stop. Facts. So please. Just a little bit of the cheating. <laughs> A little bit. Well, that's hectic. Which brings us to the end oh. of our episode. Oh. Mm. I don't want to leave. He's such mm. a doll. Oh, thank Ball you. Ball of fun. Mm. And Vibes, yeah. since I get Robert the old snack. Mm. Yes. Snack is for when, nah? Mukai. It's hard right now. Oh, is it tucky? Tucky is a snack as well. Take him. Woo! Oh, you guys are serious? Oh, thank you. Oh, snack. Yeah, boy. So you do enjoy. You know we love having you here. That's so cool. Yeah, mm. boy. I want to close it. Does it make lips? Yes, yeah, a whole lip, yeah. That's yeah. so cool. 
Sheesh. Oh, snack, people. Oh, snack. Well, guys, thank you for coming to the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And everything spoke about, there'll be links in the description below. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Engage with us in those comments. Instagram, Twitter, men, go off. And this is the last week to enjoy, you know, and celebrate Heritage Month. So go all out, man. From me, Robin, Rene Morema. Been your boy Taki, don't forget the rumba. And myself and Malanga the same. Ah. <laughs> same time, same place. Peace. Peace.